You're watching Keystone Science, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how to get energy out of just plain dirt. Okay, let's grab that cup of dirt. There we go. Now that we have our cup of dirt here, first off, let's go ahead and remove any big rocks that we see. Now that we've done that, go ahead and take a piece of copper and some zinc-plated things. In my case, I'm using these washers. However, bolts and nails and screws that are zinc-coated will work just fine as well. Now let's go ahead and take one of these washers and put it in the dirt right here. And let's take this piece of copper and insert it right here. Now go ahead and take a multimeter and make sure it's set to around 2 volts for the measuring. Let's go ahead and probe this and see how much voltage we're getting from this. As you can see, we're getting around 0.5 volts. If you want to, you could even take more of these and connect them in series to get higher voltages, because series would add the voltages on top of each other. The thing that you'd need to do is connect the copper end of one to the zinc end of another, and you could keep on building a chain as long as you wanted. I have the multimeter connected up. Let's go ahead and grab some vinegar, and let's see what'll happen if I pour a little bit into here. As you can see, the voltage nearly doubled in an instant. This is because vinegar is an acid, and like a battery, Acids will help the process go a lot faster. Now let's go ahead and check how many amps we're drawing. I'm going to switch mine into the milliamps. And we're drawing about 1.17 milliamps from this configuration. As I said with the series earlier, you can add these in parallel connecting copper to copper and zinc to zinc in order to get more of an amp flow. If we run through some quick calculations, we can see that all we're getting from this is 1 milliwatt. And actually now I'm getting a current of about 3 milliamps so we're actually getting around 3 milliwatts. But still, that's a measly power considering a light bulb like this normally runs on about 60 watts. So to power this light bulb, we would need about 6,000 of these earth battery cells. And you can see how fast the current is dropping. It may just be because the vinegar is running out. Let's try pouring a little bit more in. Yeah, and it jumped back up. So I guess adding vinegar, we can increase the current quite a bit. That's most likely because we're giving it more surface area. But even now, you can watch how fast that current is dropping. So, now you know how to get energy from dirt that's literally dirt cheap. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these weekly videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so they'll show up in your news feed. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. You're watching Keystone Signs, and in today's episode, we're going to show you how to make an easy high voltage power supply.